Welcome back, everyone, to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, the German campaign of 1900. It is October of 1902. If you haven't seen the campaign up to this point, there's a link in the description that will take you back to the very beginning. Uh, we are continuing on uh, trying to establish our dominance over the British Navy. We do have currently 15 new destroyers in the pipeline being built, but we also have a monthly balance of plus 10 million which tells me that we need to pour some more money into some things such as tech. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're waiting on our shipyard to be expanded to its latest uh, availability, which should allow us to design our first uh, more modern battleships. But in the meantime, we're just going to go ahead and continue on to the next turn. All right, four destroyers against a heavy cruiser. This should be an interesting one. Let's go ahead and take on this battle. Well, I ended up doing a whole lot of chasing him and never really caught up to him to even be able to launch my torpedoes. He got some hits on my destroyers that slowed him down and then he pulled away. So, uh, unfortunately, not much really worth even showing there on that particular mission. We've got a convoy mission here. Two destroyers and six transports up against a destroyer and a torpedo boat. Uh, so, this is one of those ones we kind of... I think I'll just auto-resolve it pretty even. We're waiting for these 15 destroyers to get into service. Let me see where we're at on those. We're also repairing a bunch of ships. We're two months away on our new destroyers. I'm more concerned about getting this building project completed. Another convoy mission. This time it's a heavy cruiser, two light cruisers against 11 transports and then these ships that are far away, which means they're going to take a little while to get into service. This is one that we could really do some damage to him if we can deal with a lot of these transports. That would really hurt his economy if we're able to deal with them. So let's see what we can do. Let's head straight for these transports as quickly as we can. Where's my other light cruiser? Must be on the other side. It is. <clears throat> so we'll have some time going at the transports before the warships arrive. There's this new feature, which is really cool. Uh, and it only works when you're in a formation with at least one other ship. Uh, and that is right here. It's the avoid torpedoes command. Give the command for this division to avoid torpedoes. The division leader will strictly follow your commands, and the rest of the ships will automatically avoid incoming torpedoes and then return back to the formation. That is something that has been a long time coming and is a very welcome addition uh, to our abilities that we have. We want to try and take out as many of these transports. I'd like to get all 11 of them if possible. We have torpedoes on the Thuringia, but it's uh, only a mile range. Oh boy, Carl's rules already taking some damage. We gotta be careful here. In fact, they're dropping out of formation. Got our first one down. There's a torpedo hit from our light cruiser. That's going to be enough to take out the second one. These are all transports, so we haven't even spotted the warships yet. It's a good start. We're going to have a collision with these two light cruisers, which doesn't do any damage, so not a big deal. Woo, there goes a third one. We got a bit of a problem here. There's another torpedo hit. 
Another torpedo hit. That should sink the fourth one. Three torpedo hits. Thuringia will probably be able to get a torpedo on this one. Oh no, we already fired one. I guess not. I'm actually going to drop them into formation with the heavy cruiser. Oh man, that's a lot of flooding. These transports are armed. There's a fourth one down. Woo! Some major fires going on there. Love it. Love it. This is beautiful. This is going to really wreck the British economy. Taking out 11 transports. Here come the warships. S uh, trying to get here as quick as they can. Gonna have to start dealing with them pretty soon. Want to make sure avoid torpedoes is turned on for those guys. There's another one down. Beautiful. As long as we're in close like this, we'll keep focusing on the transports, but at some point I will have to switch my attention to the warships. I might go ahead and get my secondaries firing on them now. Alright, Ophelia's down. Let's try and finish this one off. There it goes. Alright, now all of our attention goes to the warships. There's this heavy cruiser back here. We've got two light cruisers here, and there's one more transport back there. Alright, he's only got a one mile range on his torpedoes, so we're safe. At least for now. Switch back to auto for the time being. Remember, we're in a single formation now. I'm going to slow down a little bit. <clears throat> Haven't lost a crewman yet. We've got regular training level. So that helps with accuracy a little bit. Slowing down will help with accuracy as well. What's this heavy cruiser? Got 8 inch guns. There we go. Now we're getting some hits on the 4th. Beautiful. Not a lot of flooding yet, though. Just don't let them get within a kilometer for those torpedoes. Twenty percent chance to hit with my nine inch guns. There's a nice hit. As soon as we finish off the fourth, I'm going to go ahead and switch my main guns over to the Antrim, try and get some damage on that heavy cruiser. Man, it's 
He's having a hard time taking him down. Alright, we just landed some pretty big hits with our 9 inch guns. Did some real good damage there. Got a lot of flooding across the bottom. Don't know if it'll be enough to finish them, but it's going to be darn close. Our light cruisers have a longer... Oh no, there's a flash fire. Oh boy. That's bad. That's catastrophically bad. That's... They're dead bad. Oh man. What was that? That was a... I don't even know what hit him. My goodness. All right, we finally got the fourth sunk, but we lost one in the process. Oh, that hurts. All right, let's be careful here. We don't want to get within torpedo range. For him, anyway. Our light cruiser has a better torpedo range. I'm going to try to pursue him. Those are underwater torpedo tubes. I don't know if there's any on the front or if they're just on the side. I can't really remember. We'll find out. firing smoke now. Oh boy, and now his heavy cruiser's firing on me. Alright, I'm going to start focusing my big guns on the Antrim. We'll get the secondaries on the, the constant. Oh boy, Falky's in real trouble here. We need to get them out of there. I don't want to lose another light cruiser. Really want to get some torpedoes in the water first, though. I just don't think it's going to happen. All right, let's get them out of here. The best I can. I'm going to try to take out his light cruiser. Alright, we just landed a 2 inch shell that caused a flash fire. It might not have been the 2 inch. It might have been a fire that spread from earlier, but that was the most recent hit was a 2 inch shell from the light cruiser that caused that flash fire. I don't think it's going to be enough to take him out though. But we're getting our light cruiser out of there. We're going to try and finish this job with the heavy. Alright. We're coming in close on the inconstant now. I'm a little concerned about their torpedoes. Enough to where I'm going to start maneuvering. I 
Although I don't know exactly where he's firing those from, so I might get in a situation where he drops one in the water right when I'm next to him. Or I'll put one on him and sink him real fast. There we go. All right, it's all about the Antrim now. And that one lone transport. Okay, we are continuing our pursuit. We basically have the same speed as the Antrim, so until we cause enough damage uh, to slow them down, we're not gonna catch up. We're out of torpedoes, uh, so it's gonna have to be done with the guns. Uh, the Antrim has also gone right toward the Derwent, the re remaining transport, so we're gonna be able to get some secondaries on Derwent uh, and be able to finish them off right as we're continuing our pursuit of the heavy cruiser. So we will have taken out all 11 transports, which is absolutely devastating to him financially. It's gonna make it really hard for him to continue to pump out replacement ships for the ones that I'm sinking. There we go. Make the big guns on the Antrim, small guns on the Derwent. Antrim's still going 21 knots. So we're actually a little slower than them by 0.2 knots. So I got the notification that I sank all the transports. Now it's all about the Antrim. He's 2.4 kilometers out. It's going to take a while to catch him. This is where I wish we had the option to go at the faster speed, even though we're in close combat. It reduces how fast the max speed can be when you're in combat. We're down to 170 shells. We're only at a 10% chance to hit, but we're going to have to get lucky and nail one of his engines to slow him down. All right, we didn't damage the engine, but we've damaged his rudder and we've caused some flooding, which has dropped his speed. Every time I check the speed, it's dropping more and more. It's down to 15 knots, down under, under 15 now. Caused a lot of flooding, but not nearly enough to sink him. But he's down to 14 and a half knots, so we're gonna be able to close the gap now. At least till he gets that repaired. We're down to 1.7 kilometers. I'm going to go ahead and start turning so we can get our rear turret on him. Now that we're one and a half kilometers out, see if we can increase that accuracy. Still at 15 knots. All right, accuracy is up to 21% now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my speed to 17 knots to get even more accuracy out of it. Up to 27% now. Now we should start landing some hits. we really need because we're down to 120 shells. Nice. Man. All right, I'm gonna speed back up and start to pursue again. I'm gonna drop my main guns to a save situation so we can um, only fire when we've got good accuracy. Okay, we're inside of a kilometer on him now, which means he's got a chance with the torpedoes, so we gotta be careful here. 
Uh, I'm down to just 70 shells, but a 30% chance to hit. So I'm once again going to turn to try to get the rear turret firing too. Really hoping I can land a kill shot here. Just can't seem to get it. I'm going to slow down a little bit. Alright, we caused some more flooding finally. Maybe that'll help. We got him down to 12 knots. Got 56 shells left. He's also causing some damage on me though. We just need a little more penetration in his compartments to cause enough flooding to sink him. No, we're not gonna end the battle now. I need one more compartment to flood. Pumps are starting to work now in those center compartments. Darn it. 40 shells left. Really want to sink this thing. I don't want to let him get away. running out of the ability to sink him. 34 shells left. Don't think I'm going to pepper him to death with 4 inch shells. We need to get up alongside the ship so we're not just firing into his rear because that's where all the flooding is being caused. Alright. I'm going to turn off. Oh no, there's the torpedo. Oh boy. And it hit me. Thankfully though it hit in the same place that I've been flooding. He's still got one left. Oh, what a nightmare. We might have to end this battle and just limp away. It's still a victory for me because I took out all those transports. It's not going to be victory points wise a victory. But in terms of the damage to his economy, it'll be huge. We gotta end this. Darn it. Well, we still got a huge victory point advantage too. Took out 2,400 of his crew because we took out two light cruisers, 11 transports, medium damage on his heavy cruiser. Lost one light cruiser, medium damage on ours. Huge hit to the German or to the British economy. He's still got just eight heavy cruisers and I've got a about a 50% advantage in victory points. Oh boy. Man, this is hardcore level of encounter here. This is huge. Look at the size of those battleships. I'm going to try to withdraw from this. The withdrawals are always a failure. I'm really not sure why. All right, I guess we're going to have to fight this battle. This is going to be nuts. Okay, here we go. Enemy has two battleships, a heavy cruiser. Five destroyers and four torpedo boats. This is going to be nuts, and I don't know how I'm going to keep track of all of it. Um, I think what we'll start with is 
Uh, I'm going to put the heavy cruisers following the battleships. I want to have everybody avoiding torpedoes. So we're good there, at least for now. We're going to have to keep this on kind of a slow speed once we get into combat because there's going to be a lot of micromanaging to be done with this many ships. Okay, here we go. Our battleships are in the lead. What are we seeing first here? Probably heavy cruisers. Possibly battleships. So I'm actually going to drop my, or put my um, heavy cruisers in the same formation with the battleship. And then we've got our two light cruisers, which I'm going to put on AI for now anyway. Oh boy, big hit on the Rhineland already. It's gonna take a little while to get everybody kind of sorted here. I don't know what this torpedo boat's doing. I really want to watch his torpedo boats though, because I'm concerned about them coming in on me. Is that a torpedo in the water? No, it's not. Alright, all the guns on the torpedo boats making their runs, or the destroyers, whatever they might be. Try to light them up quick. Ryland's taking a beating already and already dropping in the formation. Jeez. 12 inch guns from his battleships, the Queen Elizabeth and the Cornwallis. Alright, so maybe I should try and get my big guns firing on him. Oh my gosh, look at Barbosa. Barbarossa just took a big hit from a 12 inch gun. Wow, that's rough. Not a good start for our battleships. All right, so let's do this. Ah, oh, geez, the torpedo boat and the destroyer are way over here, so that's not even very helpful. I'm gonna swing them around. Trying to make a run on his battleships. Same with this light cruiser. All 
Alright, we took out a destroyer, at least. But man, not looking good so far. I'm going to start swinging everybody around. Trying to make a run at these battleships. Man, my battleships are just getting lit up. Okay. Turn off the torpedoes. We're going to be targeting the lead battleship. Oh no. Already lost a battleship. Kaiser Barbarossa's gone. This is bad. We got six torpedoes, but only one torpedo tube, so we're only going to be firing one at a time here. Can I make it count? Now, right, here we go. Ooh, there's a big hit. Make it count, boys. Oh, the tube's still turning around. Come on, hurry up. It was facing the other way. Oh, we might sink before we even get it in the water. Darn it. There it goes. Uh, I might have been better off to put it on this next one. That sucks. Didn't realize it was facing the wrong way. We're about to lose our second battleship. I got a hit on something. I think it was the destroyer, though. Oh, that was a hit on me. Never mind. Yeah, we totally missed the battleship. Ugh. There's a torpedo in the water there. There goes our destroyer. These are underwater tubes on the light cruiser. Oh boy. What a mess. We're going to try to leave the battle and uh, see if we can salvage any of this. All right. Ugh. Lost the Kaiser Barbarossa, but we did escape with our other battleship. We lost a destroyer. Didn't lose anything else by leaving. So that could have been a lot worse. Ugh. What a mess that was. 
We can afford to lose a battleship, though. We still have the same number of battleships. We've got twice the heavy cruisers, more than twice the light cruisers, more destroyers. And certainly we've got way more money than he does. How are we doing? All right, we finally got the ability to build our bigger battleships, but it's going to take some time for those to actually happen. So that's Battleship 3. I thought we had a Dreadnought design available to us. I think the problem is that I was already started on an upgrade and we still don't have enough tonnage to build what we want, so we're going to have to wait. Let's get another 1,500 tons there. Darn it. Still, I think we need some more battleships. So let's build the biggest thing we can come up with at this point. I want to look at the existing design that we have so we know what we're comparing against. So the Gneisenau cost 8 million. It was 16,000 tons. 22 is the speed. It's got two 12 inch guns, three torpedo tubes. And then a bunch of secondaries. I think the 12s are still the best we can do. We can go up to 13s. But there's a significant difference in accuracy at long range. Well, at short range. Well, not significant. We might go with 13s on this one. I just didn't like anything I could do with the designs. I couldn't get an advanced tower with a 13-inch gun on a 17,000-ton battleship, so I need a bigger battleship to be able to do that. So I think we're going to sit tight until we can get some better battleships. Let's go ahead and focus our research on a couple of the upcoming things that are happening here to try to push those a little faster. Uh, none of these are going to be available in time for the end of this campaign. All right, here's another big one with one of his battleships involved. Still can't seem to withdraw from those big ones. I'm going to auto-resolve and see what happens. Pretty much nothing, really. Two heavy cruisers against a battleship and three destroyers. Wow, that battleship's got the tonnage of the heavy cruisers on its own. We'd have to get in with torpedoes and try to get lucky here. All right, this will be our final battle for this episode. Let's see what happens. See if we can get lucky. Just the two heavy cruisers. I'm going to save my torpedoes because we're going to probably need them to try and finish off that battleship. These 9-inch guns aren't going to do it on their own. Okay. Battleship's in the center. Looks like his secondaries are on either side because they're already firing smoke even though we haven't spotted them. Let's be careful they don't make a torpedo run on me right away. Which seems to be what they're thinking about doing. only got a one one kilometer torpedo range as I do good start we need to clear his screens so we can get in at him all right let's not let him get in close enough for a torpedo hit which he's about to do I'm sure he's going to get one in the water right here. I'm going to start cutting it real quick. Ooh, that hurt. He did not fire a torpedo. Interesting. But that was a big 12-inch hit he landed. Oh, and there's another one. Jeez. 
Ugh, okay. Those twelves are brutal. Oh, is that another twelve? Oh, jeez. Two twelves. This guy's been deadly accurate. He's in torpedo range. Really surprised he hasn't fired one yet. try and get in and get a torpedo on Queen Elizabeth before these 12 inch shells just destroy me. I'm trying to take out these destroyer screens. All right, first one's down. Let's try to take out the second one now. Honestly, with three ships right there, it might not be the worst thing in the world for me to go ahead and try and target the torpedo. Even if I miss one, I might hit the other if I can get in close enough. We're right next to each other right now. There's a flash fire, that one's gone. See, now is when you want to hit a, fire a torpedo. Because a torpedo going at one guy might just miss him and hit the Queen Elizabeth instead. There's one in the water, but yeah, it's going to get the destroyer. Oh, but he's got one on me now. Oh, boy. Two of them. No! Yikes. Flash fire. Two torpedoes. Saxon's gone. Darn it. Ah. Uh. I don't think the Admiral Hipper's torpedoes are particularly large. No, they are 17 inch torpedoes. Don't miss. Don't miss with the torpedoes. And we got him. I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot, though. Didn't look like it did that much damage. I 
I needed about five of them to hit him all at once. We'll be dead before we can put another one in the water. I think. Let's try to get around the other side. Maybe if we turn quick enough, we might get another one on him before he sinks me. And if we can hit the right spot, we might cause some flooding. I'll sacrifice a heavy cruiser, an old heavy cruiser, for a battleship, because he's only got five of them. There it is. It's up front. That's where I needed it. Oh no. It's gonna end the it's gonna end the scenario before we can see what happens. Oh uh. Darn it. Well, that's a defeat for us, but not a impossible one. I'm being a little um more reckless with my <laughs> missions now, just because I have such an advantage. Although, if he keeps winning battles like that, that advantage is going to go bye bye pretty quick. Um, so, I've got a battleship, a heavy cruiser, and a light cruiser in repair. No ships being built. We've got all those new destroyers out there, though. Uh, I've got a nice monthly balance in my favor, though. So, I've got to take advantage of that and start pumping out some new ships. Um, so, we'll end this episode by doing that. What is our. We don't really have a lot of new ships. Um, we have not designed any new heavy cruisers. Let's do that before we finish here. We can go up to 11,000 tons. I'd like to get a little more speed on these things. Get a little more advanced technology going. The old heavy cruisers have nine inch guns let's try to go tens uh, maybe not I don't think we can go anything like that with the advanced tower these designs just really limit what you can put Yeah, darn it. All right, so maybe we put a single, maybe we put double nines on the front. Actually, we're not too bad on the on the weight offset right now. Ship's overweight, now uh, we can fix some of that. drop the range and we'll drop a little speed let's go to about 20 28 I'm gonna switch this 10 inch to a single that'll drop weight but also fix some of the weight offset some 5 inch casemate guns We're a little bit overweight now. What kind of secondary is none. Actually, these are better. I'd rather have those four inch guns than the five inch casemates, which are limited in their range of fire. Try to get more speed on our fire there. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, um, it doesn't give us a lot of armor though. I'm not crazy about the lack of armor on this thing. Get at least a little bit of deck armor. Okay. That may do. So you can see there, compared to the 
previous design, which was 1895. So this is eight years newer. It's a little bit more expensive, same size, faster. Uh, it's going to have bigger guns. Oh, we didn't put any torpedo tubes on it, but that's okay. Let's build five of those. And financially, we're still sitting pretty. So I think I feel like we need to do more. We need to be pumping out a lot more ships and really just overwhelm him with uh, with tonnage to where maybe we can put him in a situation where he's being blockaded. Gneisenau is still the newest battleship technology we have. How is the ship overweight? How do we have a design that's overweight? It's kind of weird. Probably from some update that has happened. All right, so let's copy the Ganiza now design and see if we can figure out what's going on. Yeah, it's showing there must have been some change in one of the updates on the game that change the weight of that and the four weight offsets pretty bad so let's see what we can do with this Geniza now design because it's actually not great first of all we can raise this the size of it we can add a little more speed to these battleships Not a whole lot else to change here. I still don't like the four weight offset issue there. Um, let's change this to a single 13. Now nah, we can't. Single 12 it is. Four weight offset is still pretty significant. Gonna remove all of that four belt addition, add to the aft belt. That'll get it more balanced. Hopefully it should help with the accuracy some. Then we're gonna add to the overall main belt armor. There we go. All right. So that's our new design. That's the Beowulf design. It still says 1900, but that I think that's because we copied an earlier design. It's not a 1900 design. We're going to build five of these bad boys. We're still positive balance, but I'm going to wrap it up right there. Let me know your thoughts about all of that. I feel like we're in good shape long term because we have just wrecked. You can't see... The economic impact that we've had but all of the convoy ships that we've been sinking lately uh, have to be having an impact on him and he's not going to be able to build a lot of new big ships he's going to build some smaller ones so in the next year or two of the campaign we're going to see a big change in what i have versus what he has but that is for another day until then thanks for watching